up, everybody? Welcome back to Challenge Accepted right here on The Fumble. I'm your girl, Jackie Ray. Make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and then share. Share with all of your friends. Tell them to tell a friend. I'm really excited right now because I have my friend, longtime friend, and former Green Bay defensive end, Michael Montgomery, here with me today. Hey, Michael. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, thanks for having me. Thank you. I haven't talked to you in a, in a good year and a half, so it's good to see you. You know, move to Houston now, huh? I know, I'm a Texas, Texas raised, you know, I have to get back home. Yep, back home it is, I love it. And congratulations for moving back home. Let's dive right into this challenge, Accepted is our first segment. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna challenge this one because this one is an interesting thought process. All of us have a thought on where Julio Jones is going to end up. Everyone has an opinion about that, including mm -hmm. my favorite TikTok celebrity, and Steelers wide receiver Chase Claypool. He actually told TMZ, he said, quote, I would love him in Pittsburgh. We are stacked, but you can never get too many superstars. I, you know, I just don't know if I agree with that one. Juju had the most receptions for the Steelers last season with 97. Both he and Chase had nine touchdowns. Deontay Johnson actually had the most receiving yards with 923 yards. But here's where, here's where I don't know if Chase is really thinking this one through. Chase, is 22, Deontay is 24, Juju is also 24, right? Julio is 32. And I just don't know if you bring a 32-year-old quarterback to mess a quarterback. You don't bring a 32-year-old wide receiver into that situation when you've got a aging quarterback in, in Ben Roethlisberger. I don't even know if this is a place where Julio would want to go, but Mike, what do you think? Well, I think, um... It, it all is going to have to line up. He's going to go to a team where he's much needed, a team that has assets to trade, uh, top five defense, and a team that he could just fill in and start playing. Uh, I think a team, a perfect team, that has the assets and a proven quarterback is Buffalo Bills. I think their defense top five, you know, top top five defense. Um, they have a great young up and up and corner quarterback, and I think Buffalo Bills is the number one team that has the assets, the top defense, and a proven quarterback that where he can just fill in and play. Yeah, you know, I can't say I sleep on Buffalo because I've heard Buffalo in these scenarios before, um, and I'm not mad at Buffalo. I'm from Denver, so I'm a little mad at Buffalo. But, um, you know, I, I get it, but I just definitely don't see it happening for the Steelers. Somebody threw my Saints in there, and we have to figure out our quarterback situation before we start talking about <laughs> new wide receivers. We got a lot to figure out, but I'm not mad. I like that Buffalo idea. You think Chase is a little off in his assertion that he should go to the Steelers, though? I think I think he I think it's it's nothing wrong with wishful thinking, mm -hmm. but when you think about it on the outside looking in, like if he comes there, they're gonna have to trade a lot of draft picks and a lot of like top players on either the offensive side or the defensive side. So right. if 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 they land a trade, a lot of their players, their 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 team contributors on the team is gonna be shifted off and back back with the Falcons. So if you want to sacrifice uh, talent, multiple talented players for one player, you know, th that will work. But normally in the, in the league, it never, it never works out like that. It'll be a team that we would never suspect m who gets this trade. That's, always, that's how it always works. But uh, I'm pushing for the Bills because they're just one, maybe one or two players away on getting to the next step and getting to the Super Bowl. Their defenses, they play hard, fast, and their quarterback is very savvy. And they just need that one receiver that can plug and play and they can they can move to the next level and get to the Super Bowl. Yep. Well, I have met exactly one Buffalo Bills fan in my life. So he's very excited at this moment and <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. But let's move on to my favorite part of it. Well, I think it's my second favorite, um, aside from challenge issued. But this one is just, it's our fan challenge, you guys. And this is the one where we kind of have to address the ridiculous nature that sometimes follows our fans around. <laughs> because, you know, you guys kind of be in your fandom. Hey, I'm not one to talk. Y'all know how I feel about LeBron James, so I get it. But this one is interesting to me because I love this. I was very happy to see this one because Tampa Bay, Tom Brady, and company are still in full, full effect. They are intact. Every single player who scored a point for Tampa Bay during the Super Bowl 
win, the win against Kansas City, they have all re-signed, every single one of them. That includes Grunk, um, Leonard Fournette, Ryan um, Suckup, the, the kicker, and mm -hmm. my boy, my boy, Antonio Brown has re-signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, the Bucks posted this to their Twitter page that said, we officially re-signed AB, hashtag go Bucks. I am always, 100% of the time, even when he's acting a little crazy, I'm always <laughs> going for AB. I love that you keep your Super Bowl squad together. And I think if I was a fan of Tampa Bay, I would love that. But these fans out here, they don't feel that way. This user said, WTF, no one wants him on the team. Can he go somewhere else? Um, and this guy apparently loves AB's talent, but he's not a fan uh, of it being matched with Tom Brady. He says, Super Bowl, super team in my opinion. If y'all win it, it won't count just like your last one. And then this one says, um, has Antonio Brown gotten any therapy for his clear and obvious issues? Because if not, doesn't matter if he's been behaving himself, he will offend again. I mean, that's ridiculous. Can we let the man, can we applaud the man for actually having a very quiet and productive year? There was no shenanigans. There was mm -hmm. no over the topness. Can we give that man his credit for that? But Mike, what do you think about these fans and their shade for AB? I think, I think, you know, sometimes when it comes to fans and, you know, everybody always gets a second chance and redemption story, you know, except for professional athletes. Sometimes everybody just pushes off on the players like we're not human, like we're perfect people. No, we're not, you know, we're not. The people, the, the, the real heroes are the people that are the firefighters, the hospital people. Those are the people that be, be, need to be looked up there. But everybody just assumes that you're a professional athlete, you, you, you make perfect decisions and you're right all the time and do things wrong. But that's not the case. And I think we should just give him his flowers. He haven't been in the news for any misconduct. He's, he helped co contribute with a Super Bowl winning team. And uh, I can say this right now, y'all can quote me on the, bump, on the fumble. There will be a Super Bowl rematch what? between Tampa Bay and, and Kansas City. You calling a rematch of Super Bowl 50 right now before- I'm calling a rematch. Both teams are equally matched. Kansas City, they had health issues on the front, on the offensive line that really, really played a big factor. You know, everybody, cause football is so hard. You're, you're one and done. And, it, and you're just one or two injuries away of not having your best player on the team. So, you know, I see a rematch coming next, for, for the next Super Bowl. But uh, we got a hot take up in here, <laughs> Michael Montgomery. I can't wait to screen grab this if you write though, because I'm be like, we told you first. Well, technically, I'm, <laughs> but I'm still gonna take half the credit because that's what I do. Now, speaking of what I do, this is my favorite, favorite part of the show. It's time to get into challenge issued. Now, Mike, understand, I'm going to issue a challenge to you. You don't have to accept it. You can deny it. But, but you know, then it then it's gonna make you look some type of way if you deny the challenge. It's gonna make you look okay. like are you scared. I'm just mm -hmm. saying, I'm just throwing it out there. You don't have to accept it though. <laughs> but I know you've got a personal tie to this challenge that I'm about to issue to you because we know Aaron Rodgers, his con he's under contract with Green Bay. He's not set to become a free agent until 2024, but he's made it very clear that he does not want to be in Green Bay anymore. And to be fair, the Green Bay Packers haven't really proven that they want him there. They they literally went out of their way to trade up in the 2020 draft, and instead of getting a wide receiver and getting him some help, they drafted a quarterback. So they definitely have not made it look like there's yeah. a lot of love there. They haven't made it an easy, an easy road for Aaron Rodgers in any way, and he's kind of fed up. I don't think Green Bay is is the organization to not be petty. I don't think they're going to do the right thing and trade him away and say, hey, we haven't treated you right, so we're going to allow you this trade that, you, that we know you want. And I think he's going to end up having to retire. I think he's going to retire, and then he's going to come back in 2022. That's, that's, my, that's my challenge. Now, if that happens, I know you know him. I want you to call him, and I want you to tell him to do a drop for me and say, Jackie Ray, I love everything you're doing on the fumble. You got it right, and I love you. Keep being amazing. That's the exact quote that I need to <laughs> say, and then send it to me. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I get, I get you right. I get All you right. right. Are you accepting the challenge? Yeah, you... the challenge accepted. Okay, do you think I'm right? Do you think he's going to retire? 
I think he's not going to retire. I'm put, I'm hoping that everything re, re, uh, come to agreement. You know, uh, as a former player of the of, of the Green Bay Packers, I can say honestly, you know, it's one of the top organizations I've ever been a part of. Uh, I was blessed to be a part of uh, Texas A&M University and the Green Bay Packers. You know, I think they was like both one in hand, both the same. They both are great organizations. And it's not about the the football, but it's about the people. Right. And the people that would made it such a special, special time. And I understood more once I retired when, you know, there was opportunities to get back to Green Bay and help out with marketing or, or, or engaging with the fans. So, you know, you're treated just like you're a player when you go back. So the, the fans are the ones who make the team, the organization, the people. And uh, I'm just pushing for them to come to agreement and get on the one accord. So, you know, hopefully they can get to the Super Bowl and, and, and prove me wrong. But so. what can they do to really show Aaron that, hey, we're turning this corner, the things that you've been upset about, the stuff that we did wrong in 2020 in the draft, we're gonna we're moving on from that and we're gonna do better. What could they do to make him feel like, hey, this is where I should be and we're moving in a new direction? Well, just 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 have a one-on-one -on -one talk, you know, without cameras, without, you know, social media presence. Just have a one-on-one -on -one talk and, and try to keep things in-house and closed doors because I think that's, you know, that's how things get done, you know, when it comes to professional. Because, you know, back in the day, it wasn't any media or anything. You wouldn't know anything that happened until, you know, everything is over. But uh, I think uh, moving forward, just coming to to an agreement to, to work together and, and win. Because, you know, Green Bay is a, a really great team. They need, a, you know, a, 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 maybe like a couple of spots. Hopefully those rookies can come in and step in, make some real good contributions on special team and in defense and just protect A-Rod um, while he's throwing the ball. But uh, I think uh, just 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 try to keep it in-house and come to an agreement. You know, look, what happens in the past is in the past and uh, just come to agreement and uh, move forward. Okay. All right. Well, we shall see. Now, it's your turn. You got a challenge for me? Ah, yes, yes, yes. I know that you're a Saints fan. Yep, who that? <laughs> <laughs> know that, but <laughs> I, if the Saints, New Orleans Saints, do not make the playoffs this upcoming season, you will have to do a show with my football, my Green Bay football jersey on green bay packers football jersey if the saints don't make it to the play playoffs next year you have to do your first playoff uh, uh first playoff podcast with my football jersey on oh man okay so first of all that's a that's a tough one because we got so many issues we got to figure out right now <laughs> i mean honestly the only issue that's really big is the quarterback. You know, you have defense, but but it's, it makes it so much easier when you have a good defense, good re good receivers, a good O line. It makes it easier. You just have to have a like a, a good manager of the game. You know, like I like I always say, Tom Brady is the one of the best minds quarterback wise. He's gonna make he's gonna make. Playoffs, he's 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 undefeated. He's gonna throw the ball, not to get an interception, put in the best possible place where wide receivers can catch. He's like the ultimate genius when it comes to quarterback play in the playoffs, and that's why that's he's Tom Brady. It, we we don't why. have that. <laughs> but look, look, I believe in the same. All they they have a great O line. They have everybody in place. They just need to plug and plug in place and go. Right. You remember. When Breeze was out, yeah, uh, I think it was Famous. What, what? When Drew Brees Bridgewater. Was yeah, it was the one who came in, and they went on a win, a winning streak. Are oh, you talking about when Teddy Bridgewater came in? Teddy yeah. Bridgewater with that year when he came, came out. Yeah. So it was just a, a just a situation where it was a plug and play. Mm -hmm. He he was managing. He wasn't making too crazy throws in double and triple coverage. You know the running game stays stout. You know sometimes I think. 
they make it too hard. Mm. Football is 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 always a one-on-one game battle. It's just a collect collection of one-on-one battles being won. And like when you see a play and you get like ten yards, you, you see they don't run it again. I don't understand it. You know, if a play is working, you just need to keep doing it until they stop you. But uh, I, I, I love that because you know I have a total faith faith in Jameis Winston. Right now, they have named Jameis Winston the uh, leading quarterback, but we know Sean Payton is in love with Taysom Hill, so I don't know if it's gonna stay that way. But Drew Brees called him the next man up. So if Drew Brees <laughs> called it, I'ma believe in it. So challenge accepted. I'm telling you right now, my Saints are going to the playoffs. I'm not saying we are gonna make it out, but we going to the playoffs. Okay, okay, <laughs> I, I do like Hill too. I think he's a fiery guy, he just needs a little more He's not play a as a quarterback. I, I, I like I like his dimension because you know a lot of times you know they're not running the ball. Quarterback's not running the ball in no in no Saints offense. So he adds a different layer to their to their offense. You know, or with a yeah. with a running style quarterback. So I I think it's going to be a really competitive battle between Winston and Hill. But uh, it's, it's really going to be exciting to see. Yeah. Well, challenge accepted, sir. I cannot wait to not wear your jersey. But if I do wear your jersey, it's going to be like a dress. Cause... Oh, yeah. I'm, <laughs> hey, hey, I, got, I got the address. I'm going to mail it in. I'm going to mail it in and send it over. All right. Perfect. Well, thank you, Michael, for joining us. Tell the people where they can find you on social media. All right. You can find me on Instagram. I am 96GB. So I am the numbers 96 GB on Instagram. All right, you guys. And once again, I'm your girl, Jackie Ray. You can follow me on all things social media at J Ray the Fanatic. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Challenge Accepted. Don't forget, we're here every single Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And don't miss the Fumble Live Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We will see you next week. And don't forget, Challenge is always accepted. Bye, guys.